Hi, um, I'm back in the UK as you probably guessed. Um, I just want to talk about why you should travel. Um, I know most people put it off because I used to myself. Uh, what, are, what used to happen is you'd have things like you worry about the rent, what happens if you leave and then come back and things aren't the way it was. You go back, you go away, you come back, you have to start from scratch again. You worry about basically everything that could go and would go wrong if you let it happen. Um, I know from my own travel experiences though, it's all about pre-planning. Um, some of it is just like shoving money in the bank and hoping for the best because you can't always have the answers for everything, um, which is why uh, like Spain, I'm budgeting heavily for it, um, but will it be 100% right? I don't know. Um, I don't have the answers for everything all the time. But the fact is, sitting in the UK and doing nothing for the next 20, 30 years, that ain't me. It's not happening. Um, I got my wife and kids abroad, bring them into Spain, lets us travel through Europe. Um, Spanish citizenship in two years which means that I can take my wife and kids down to South America we can go to the Car Caribbean we can travel around the world okay you're probably guessing already if um, you are either thinking I would love to do that or you think I am a bit of a fantasist the fact is most people do not do what I'm doing but the fact is I know I can do it and right now I'm sitting here working on business ideas that will propel my family forward in life so that we can do the stuff that most people don't do. Because you have to remember when you go to school, a school is not about education. Schooling is about preparing you for life in the office, in the factory, into a structured environment where you just follow along like a drone. Um, that's why you find that rich kids and whatever go to um, different types of classes. They go to different types of schools. They go to boarding schools where they learn independence very early on. That's why you see some boarding schools take kids as young as three. It's because they have a natural independence of not relying on everything around them. But what you have in the average school in the west in the uk it doesn't matter where it is the schools are designed round not dumbing you down but pre-programming you for an environment that says do not think for yourself um i think the most recent thing i noticed with my own daughter was that sciences have now been shoved into science when I was a kid, it was physics, it's chemistry, biology. The reason it's important is I was very good at physics. I like physics, I like understanding physics. I like taking physics to a depth where it's interesting and knowledgeable. I do not care about um, plants. I do not care about um, chemical formulas. I care about understanding motion, electricity, uh, heat dissipation and things like that because that's how my mind works that's why I'm involved in electronics electrical systems blah 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 I am not growing herbs and whatever in the garden I try to but I'm not good at it and I know I'm not good at it but the schools these days are dumbing down the environment where they're not saying you could be good at physics they're saying you could go on with sciences Sciences don't teach you nothing um, because you cannot reduce three very core things in life into one single subject. Um, chemistry is something where it's a, it's a vast subject. I, I, I didn't fully understand it as a child, but at the same time, I do not knock anybody that understands chemistry. Because my the pH ta uh, periodic table, sorry, I never fully understood because I do not understand 
the the findings behind it. The reason I like physics is I could understand heat dissipation. I could understand the movement of a heat loss through um, electrical circuits because it makes sense to me. Biology does not make sense to me because although I understand humans are humans, most of the time how things work on the human body does not make sense. Um, f physics is what I'm good at. And the whole point of this is, it's like me traveling. Traveling is what I love. Traveling is what I enjoy. When I look at things outside of my own uh, comfort zone, it excites me. Um, I was looking at a house today, which is about two hours from an airport in Spain, and I'm thinking, we should move there. Um, the practicality of it going to the airport um, twice a week is not there. <laughs> But at the same time, it's built inside a castle. Um, it's a castle town. And you can look over and just see fields and fields for miles. You can see mountains. You can see... It's an amazing landscape. The house is a historical house. It's got history. It's got... Um, it's got a natural thing where you could fall in love with the place. That's what matters to me. Um, I'm not the 2.4 children, um, a family car, house in the UK type of guy. I want to, at some point, go through the Caribbean on a yacht. I want my kids to go through and see that crystal blue water and do stuff that most people never see in a lifetime. And it's not about cost. It's about just f focusing your mind on being able to do it. If you're focused, you'll find a way. If you're not, you'll never do it. And the fact is, a lot of the people I know that would love to do it, but put themselves off doing it, um, they read other people's books. <laughs> That's the that's the crazy thing. It's life is too short to hold yourself back. Um, the world is there. The world is for you to desire. Uh, it's it's your desire. It's what you want to do with it. And I think a lot of people just hold themselves back and just shouldn't do it. You'll always find a solution if you try. But if you don't try, you'll always find a problem. And I'm not going to find any problems. I'll find the solutions. My kids mean the world to me. My wife means the world to me. And giving them the world on a plate is my life goal. Um, it's not easy. You know, it's, it's not as secure as working the same job for 40 years. But you know what? I would never be happy doing that. I'm happy doing what I do now. I love doing the stuff that a lot of people think you're crazy doing it. <laughs> because at the end of the day, I've already seen and done more in my lifetime than most other people. And I still feel that I haven't even touched the surface. So. Unlock, unlock your potential. Stop putting yourself off. Life is for enjoying, not for ruining. Life is not for regrets. Change that last bit. It's not for ruining, it's not for regrets. Do what you want to do. Enjoy life, experience life, and do whatever you want. But plan it, think about it. Um, like for example, I love to do things like the diving, but I still haven't done my paddy license yet. So I will have to do it. Um, at the same time, I know I need to upgrade my qualifications at currently. Um, so I'm actually taking another degree at the moment. Will that hinder me? I don't think so because my focus is, um, it's got to be done. And the focus is, is a bit like seeing a cake 
um, at the you know you got the cake at the end of a like a line or the finish line whatever you want to say I know once that's done that's the goal it doesn't how it matter how I get there it doesn't matter how hard it is because the fact is that's where I'm going and that's how you need to focus in life thanks for watching